Hey, this is Chad with homeschoolwebmaster.com. And uh, we're going to take a look under your structure. Go to structure and there is a neat little contact form here. Uh, real easy to use. And um, I've got, I was playing around with this earlier and I've got one set up. So I'm going to delete this to make it look like yours. And we're going to add a new category uh, for this. And so when you get here, it'll probably look like this. And you can add a category. Category could be website feedback or product information. I'm just going to do um, site-wide contact form. Who's going to receive this? Now, this is really neat because you can go, you know, webmaster at homeschoolwebmaster.com but here's the cool thing put in a comma and you can see down here that it says if you put in a comma uh, you can put in a second one so you know webmaster2 at homeschoolwebmaster.com could also receive this so if you have several guys working on your site you want everybody to get kind of carbon copied or whatever you can put it in that way put as many as you like in here they'll all receive emails then the auto reply something like this thank you okay thank you for contacting Android apps So we will be getting back to you within one to two working days. Chad. Now you can write whatever you want in there. If you need something more specific to your business, uh, expound on that. That's not a great auto reply, but it, you know, it, it does the job. And then you've got the weight and that has to do with the category. So if you go in here and add, and, and let me explain this weight for you. What if you had two categories? Well, the weight would decide which one is on top, lightest is on top, which one's on bottom, and which one, the one that's the lightest is going to be uh, at the top. Now, here's a cool thing. Do you want this selected whenever they go to it? And you can only select one, okay? And so when you go to your site, it, this will be selected. We're gonna push save. All right so it is in there now let's go and see if we can see it anywhere hmm here we go contact let's see what happens it's right up top your name is because I'm logged in and this is so this auto fills it in for me because my, I'm logged in now if I wasn't logged in uh, that person would have to fill in the name fill in the email address and the subject is um, test for contact form I'm testing here and we're gonna send the message now I'm going to look over here and there it is I've got an auto reply already uh, from this and then let's see right there it says homeschool webmaster sent a message using the contact form and it says I'm testing now so I got both of those I got the auto reply that said hey thank you for contacting we'll be with you in one to two days and then I also got message I sent to myself uh, that says hey you know I'm testing nothing significant here um, so that's the contact form and you can set up multiple let's go back in because I want to show you one more thing and we want to go to structure contact form and you can add this is site-wide contact form add another category now I'm normally I wouldn't do this for a website but for the example and we'll just put that in there and okay so we've set that up and the auto reply is example 
and the weight we're gonna make this a little bit lower than our zero so we're gonna make it farther down no it's not gonna be selected and now you have two categories now let's go look and see how that changes our contact page so we go to contact now it gives us a category do we want site-wide contact form or do we want an example now an example of this could be what if you had site-wide contact form technical support um, customer service and so forth so you can start breaking it down to different departments this is very powerful uh, for this and this is all done uh, very professionally you're gonna find this layout on almost every site uh, available so now you have a contact form so here's what I want you to do homework time uh, go in and uh, set up your contact form for your site use the appropriate emails you can use any email you want Gmail doesn't matter uh, to send it to you and then uh, set all that up well that's it for this lesson guys uh, I'll talk to y'all soon